I think the biggest mistake is that you go to the gym and you go through the motion, but you don't really have your mind inside the muscle. can't just stand there like this. Yeah, you can. I've seen the guys training with me also four hours a day, five hours a day, but they look like shit. Like I always say, it's kind of hard to slap when you have him staring at you. And why did they look like shit is because they didn't concentrate. They did the same exercise, but they went like they stood like this and then they looked sideways, kind of like they were bored because they didn't even know why they were training. They, they were not inside that lat when you do the rowing and you pull back and you flex the upper back and the center back and then you let it down and you stretch and you think about that the wing is coming out now or like a curtain is opening up and we always thought about the curtain, right? This is when we did our lat spread. So you got to think about those things. If it was possible, this would be too fucking big. Look at it. But it ain't fucking possible. Yep. Yeah, buddy. Got to get that low back warmed up. Okay, here we go. Yes. Come on. Let's go now. Everything you've got. Nah. So I'm a big believer in that. I think chin-ups, when you weigh 240 pounds, you ought to have the strength of a 240-pound guy. We did it because it was the only way to really open up those wings, the shoulder blades and the lats. It really created the width. Because lats is not for thickness of the back. Let's not fool ourselves here. It is all for width. Did a lot of chin ups and a lot of pull downs, and he got this enormous wide back. the rowing exercises, if it's T-bar rowing, one-arm rowing, or wide grip rowing with the barbell, all of those exercises, or cable rowing, all those exercises are specifically for the thickness of the mm. back. Lifting the weight isn't much of a problem. <clears throat> and then you can direct it if it should be lower, should be higher, should be more in the center, more in the outside, and all those things depending on what exercise you do. Come on, right! Light weight, baby! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Never do an exercise without hitting a pose right afterwards. If you do a chin up, why not hit the back pose?
Let go of the weight, let go of the bar, step back sometimes, refocus, even lighten the weight if need be. You know, take a minute. What a bodybuilder will try to do is step in a corner maybe, go into his line, and quietly try to flex the muscle. And what you're doing is you're almost like trying to imagine closing your eyes and reaching around in the dark inside of yourself. Reaching around saying, where are you, where are you, where are you, is this my lats, 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 fire. And really what that is, is it translates into standing there and mimicking the movement and trying to feel your lat contract. <laughs> Heavier way will come, but the right mechanics are what we're using in order to, to hit the muscles that we desire to train. Okay, so listen where your mind is, right here. purpose for machines but there's also a purpose going through some heavy fucking weight and um, that's how I train. Back is probably one of the most complex, um, complicated body parts of work. Um, there's a lot of muscles, you gotta hit from a lot of different angles, and you gotta constantly switch it up and mix it up and confuse the back. Constantly change the workout, constantly keep the body guessing. A lot of intensity, a lot of volume for the back.